Oh, no. Ah. Oh, crap. So in the last episode, we got this beautiful razor tooth or what is it called? Dryptosaurus? Yeah, that's what it's called. This thing is amazing looking and I'm super excited to see you guys reaction to that video, but it's actually not out just yet. So I don't have a name for it, but we will get one soon. Uh, it's got a bunch of levels now, actually, because it was sitting inside the cryopod overnight. But uh, yeah, I'm super happy with this thing. Let's talk about what we're going to be doing here today. First of all, I got a couple things that I actually want to do because we're going to be doing another cave here pretty soon and I don't want our tribe to have another embarrassing disaster like last time. So we need to get some more <laughs> leech blood so we can make a bunch of lesser antidotes which will basically help us out to, uh, you know, stop spreading rabies around our tribe because it's getting to be a real issue in the caves. I mean, even right now, like, that's a good amount. You know, we'd have six each. That's still not going to be enough. We got rabies like 20 times in that last cave and it was ridiculous. So... That's one thing I want to do. I want to try and kill some leeches. Another thing I want to do is I want to get myself one of these birds because I've been getting a bunch of comments from you guys telling me that these things actually increase crafting skill when they're on your shoulder. So let's see. What is that symbol? Um, I guess it just makes you smarter. Cool. But apparently that actually increases crafting skill by 20%. So that's pretty good. We should definitely get one of those for myself, but also maybe we could breed one and have one here just chilling beside the smithy for everybody to use. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I mean, even Axeman's got one over here. Look at everybody's got one. I need to get myself one. I don't know if Jim has one. I need to get one before Jim. Anyway, so that's another thing. Uh, another thing I actually wanted to do, and I, I actually want to do this here on camera, is um, I've been hearing about this converter well since the very start, and it didn't really make a whole lot of sense in my head. It's a Lethal's reusable thing, so it's part of the reusable mod, and uh, essentially what it does is it turns regular versions of the items into the reusable versions. Now, in my head, I was like, that's kind of pointless, right? Like, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Also, it doesn't work on this for some reason. I don't know why. But um, in my head, I was like, yeah, that's kind of pointless. I don't really see the point. And then I realized that you can actually chuck in better versions of those items and they will become reusable. So essentially the durability on these items are pretty much just gone. Uh, although it doesn't look like it. It still has durability. Weird. Okay. Well, I guess it kind of... No, no, no. You know what? I'm wrong about that. These are armor and that's why they still have it. Because let's let's just talk about it real quick. This is the normal uh, reusable scuba tank. This obviously is not like a better version. It's just like the primitive version that you can craft. Um... So that thing's reusable in the way that it's never going to run out of oxygen, but it can break. And obviously, that's why these things still have the durability. They're never going to run out based on the environments that would tick down their durability normally, but they will run out if they get broken. Or, I guess, break if they get broken. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, so there we go. We have a really good scuba tank and a really good gas mask now. We definitely need to try and get some good blueprints because I've already checked it out and we don't really have any good ones at all for that. Let me just pop away some of this crap. I just realized I have tons of gasoline on me. Working a little bit on the house and from what I know, the next episode should be the house episode because everybody's got theirs built now. And, uh, yeah, we basically... We're going to be doing that really, really soon. And then a cave probably after that. So don't expect me to go over and get that baryonyx anytime soon. Maybe in a couple episodes. We'll see. Guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. A couple more things I want to do here today. Uh, well, one thing I want to do is definitely just torture myself. Uh, we're going to go after some more leather wings. The uh, Ludodactylus. I can't remember what it's called. They took like... Uh, I mean, what was it? A 174 took like four eggs. So... I don't know. Let's just bring 10 just to be sure. Um, so I have those. I I'm going to do this one a little bit smarter. And then another thing I want to actually go for. We're going for so many things here today in this video. It's going to be jam-packed. I want to actually get myself one of the cats as well. Because I've been wanting one for such a long time. But I've never actually been able to find one. And you know what? I'm just going to go ham. I'm just going to keep going until I find one. Do I have a... Do I... I don't think I have it. Do I? Okay, yeah. I need to grab some metal ingots real quick. The reason why we don't have any metal. Do we not? What the hell happened to all the metal? Really? We don't have any smelted metal. There was tons earlier. I don't I don't understand. Uh, let's go ahead and chuck that in there. So yeah, the reason why we actually need the metal is um, to tame up the Corvus, which is the little bird thingy. So probably 40 ingots should be more than enough. You essentially passively feed them metal. I don't know why. You just, you give it to them because it's shiny and then eventually they'll get weighed down and then they can't move and then you just keep giving them metal or I guess you, no, you give them swamp meat at that point and then you should be able to get them all tamed up. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out over to this biome first. Maybe we'll try and go for the cat first so I can put the, this milk away if I ever actually find one. That would be great. 
But um, yeah, so that's the plan. And then we'll go out and maybe try and find a Corvus at some point. And I guess also look for these guys too. Jam-packed, like I said. We got lots of things to do. Okay, so the only spot I've ever actually seen one of these cats is around this massive temple place, kind of close to the, uh, the desert cave that we did. Let me go ahead and pull out maybe Diego. I'm gonna have to just continuously look until I find one because like... Yeah, I don't know. I also kind of want a high level, but I don't know if I'm going to get graced by a high level here today. It might not happen. Eventually, that would be great. But honestly, just having a cat would be fantastic because I actually have cats in real life. I've got three, so I love cats so much. They are they're really amazing. So yeah, super happy to actually get one in the game as well. And I already know which cat I'm going to name it after. I'm going to name it after Nugget. So I think for the moment, I'm just going to like kind of slowly survey the area a little bit and kill this Pego, I guess. Um, mainly because these things are quite skittish, so I don't want to spook it and then have to, like, wait for it to, um, you know, run off really, really, really far away and then I'd have to, like, find it again and, and, and approach it slowly. It might run into danger, who knows, so, yeah, I just, I want to be very cautious here. I want to just get it without spooking it. <gasps> What's that? I just saw something. What was that? Oh, I don't know where it went. Something scurried along the ground away from me. So I would imagine that was probably it. I don't know where it went though. Oh, no, it wasn't a Jerboa, right? No, Jerboas don't run. Definitely had to have been a cat or just something else. I don't know what it was. All right, I got an idea. Uh, Cause I was pretty far away from it there. Let me go ahead and uh, just pull out my Driftosaurus. We'll go invisible. See if we can find it. Oh dude, these things are hard to find. That is so small as well. I just barely saw something on the grass. I'm not crazy, okay? There's definitely something here. There has to be. I don't know. Oh my god, that is blinding. <laughs> Maybe did it get stuck in the ruins here? Hmm, okay, I've got a good idea, actually. And it involves not using you, but we're gonna need uh, Kool-Aid. Here we go. So we're gonna use Kool-Aid because we can do the uh, the ping, right? Okay, there's something over there. This actually probably could be a great way of finding things, to be honest. What's over there? What am I looking at? There was something there, right? And then it moved. No, it's still there. Oh, there it is, a bobcat. <gasps> also, there's something in the ground. I guess it's picking up the cave stuff. All right, cool. Let me uh, let me attempt this then. Oh my God, yes, we could just use you. You're gonna be perfect to actually get these guys. All right, here we go. Okay, whereabouts is it? I actually don't see it right here. You know what? Let me pull out some... Uh glow sticks we'll just light up the area a little bit hopefully there's no predators around here from for the most part i haven't really seen too many where did it go oh is that it there i think i just saw it it's in the bush right right over here if i can get a glow stick onto it that would be fantastic in fact i might try that oh it's spooked is it because i have something in my hand oh it probably is no okay wait it's still over there though right oh look at you oh little kitty oh you got such a poofy tail <laughs> I love it. Okay, wait, 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 come here. Okay, we're not going to try and put a glow stick on you. I'm sorry for mentioning it. Jeez. All right, well, it's only level 60, so it's not amazing, but I can use the Parasaur, I would say, to, to hopefully find more. Um, Yeah, that's actually really smart. Oh, my God. I'm actually so smart. I'm, like, intelligent nowadays. Look at this. Bro, come on. Wait, wait, wait. How do I team them, then? Oh, you got to go prone. Oh, that's weird. I didn't realize. I just looked at the mod page there. Where is it? Is that it way over there? Oh, please, bro. Come on. Where are you going? Look at your little glowy eyes. All right. Uh, is it going to pass by? Yeah, it's like right over there. Okay, so you got to go fully prone to them? Dude, that's uh, that's a little bit risky. Where bets is it? Also, I can't really see it first person at all. Um, little kitty? No? <laughs> I'll just... I'll, I'll grab out like a, a toy that makes... um. Like little jingle sounds. That's perfect. That's how we get the cats in from outside. <laughs> we don't, by the way, we don't let our cats around the neighborhood. I just mean out in my back garden. We are responsible pet owners. I do not believe cats are outdoor animals. Also, I don't see a single thing here. <laughs> Where is it? I don't see it right now, unfortunately. You go through here. I don't even want to go up because I won't be able to, uh, like, it's just going to immediately spook. I don't see it, though. Like, I feel like it's not around here anymore. I don't know where it went. It might have ran further over there. Okay, I'm just... I'm gonna just stand up. I'm just hopefully... <gasps> there it is. Okay. Let's just let it come to me. Come here, bro. Are you the same one? Oh. You're 174. You're also gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Come here. Come on. Come here, little kitty. 
come on. Do I have to go to you or do you come to me? I don't understand how this works. <laughs> do I just like have to like crawl up to it? This is what cats want us to do. Oh, that's a bunch so far. Oh, the animations are so cute. So they added cats to Atlas, I think, after I stopped playing. And I was super disappointed about that because honestly, yeah, this would have been a really cool thing to have. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Nice. And it's 174. And that's really good. I was just more mesmerized by the freaking colors on it. It looks really nice, actually. Damn. All right. Let me check you out. Look at this. Oh, my God. It's so cute. I love it. I love it so much. Wow. Why don't they have cats like this in normal arc? Oh, he just pooped. Dude, there's no litter box here. Let me, let me pick that up for you. I am forever at your service, cute little kitty. <laughs> just purr on my lap and then we'll... Uh, you'll just have my attention forever. I will say, as a person who grew up without any animals, but then eventually got a dog and then eventually adopted some... Well, I adopted one cat and then we got some together. After Heather moved over here... Heather's my wife, by the way. She moved from Canada and she brought her cat, who at the time was probably like... Uh, almost like 10, I would say. I, I think Nugget's gonna be 14 this year, I do believe. So my very first experience with a cat was like, eh, I'm not super, super interested. And then like literally within two weeks, I was in love with her. It was amazing. So yeah, definitely would recommend them. They, some people, you know, some people crap on cats, but honestly, I really like them. There we go. We have our own and I'm going to name her Nugget. Perfect. So yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> oh, I've got, oh, I had you on my shoulder and everything. You didn't help at all. In fact, you know what, Eek? You don't deserve that hat anymore. Give me that back. No, you know what? I'll, I'll give you a, a, a hat eventually, but you know, for the moment, I think uh, I think Nugget needs this little hat. There we go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Oh my God, it's perfect. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. we gotta check out a, a glow stick. Oh, dude, I hope some of the other guys got some high-level cats because I want to mutate these things. <gasps> You're amazing. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh my God. So these colors aren't perfect for Nugget, but she does have a little bit of ginger in her, so I'm okay with that. Uh, there we go. Obviously, the red is not natural, but yeah, that's that's really cool. So, what is the um, what's the ability? It doesn't seem to have anything that shows up on the screen anyway. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to like have like a little symbol or anything. Apparently, these things can stop microraptors and other creatures like that from stunning you. So, I guess I gotta go find a microraptor, or you know what? I'm not gonna go look for one. I'm just gonna let one come to me because that's totally gonna happen. Um, yeah. So, do we have any more cats around here? Can I maybe tame another one while we're out here? Don't know how common they are, but I mean, like, there we go. We found two. They were fairly far away from each other, though, because we, we were all the way over there when we found a level 60, which, by the way, I have no idea where that thing even went. Is that it over there? Can't even tell. Saw something. I don't know. I thought it was something. Oh, what was that? Was that you? Did you just make a noise? Did you just be out? <laughs> Oh, dude, this is amazing. I love it so much. Okay, yeah, yeah. For the moment, um, maybe we should just get out of here before I get killed by, like, a death room or something, because they do spawn here. All right, next up, um, let us maybe look for some... Uh, what am I doing here? Where's Cloaca? There you are. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and look for um, some of these Tyranodon things. There we go. We've actually already got one. What level are you? Uh, can't see it all. Let's see. You are level 18. Did I not already just kill a level 18? Why is there another one already? And boom. <laughs> nice. Let's see, let me um let me just kill something and then the rest of the vultures will come for me. Oh. Oh, did you hear that? That's amazing. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. They don't want to attack me now. Oh <gasps> wait, wait, the other ones do. Oh! Oh my god, that's fantastic. That is so useful. Also, why sometimes does the barrel roll not actually bring me forward? Is it because I'm not holding shift? Is that why? Yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. It just completely makes them leave you alone. That's actually great. I love that so much. Let's try it again. Oh, that, never mind. <laughs> I just immediately killed it. It's fine. Well, there we go. I mean, we've seen it in, in action. I'm super happy about that. I'm not sure what else it actually works on. Probably, um, I mean, hopefully Minecrafters. Everybody, everybody's been telling me that it does. Whoa, okay. Hello, Yellow Drop. Just chilling in here. Everybody's been telling me Microraptors, so hopefully that's true. We'll see. Um, let me see. Whoa! Okay. Even better uh, shotgun blueprint than the current one that the guys are using. Obviously, I have this really amazing one that I've had, like, since almost the start, to be honest. But, yeah, that's fantastic. This is also great. Terrible durability, though. Wow. 52? <laughs> that's, that's the worst. I, that that is so bad <laughs> maybe that's why it's so cheap though because it's got 330 freaking damage on it like that's 
absolutely insane all right i think i'm done in this area i'm gonna go over towards where the green kind of area is close enough to base the one that i keep going to and uh we'll check over there for some of these dudes wow that was a really good swoop right there damn that was awesome i went super far oh we got a drop in here hello oh damn okay that's a really good what is that that's an aloe yeah oh my god okay i gotta make some of those they're they're relatively expensive not too expensive though cool yeah we definitely need to make some of those awesome oh that's gonna be amazing all right let me go check this other spot over here as well keep hearing my cat just make so many noises i don't know if it's just regular noises or if there's something it's very hard to tell uh doesn't look like there's anything down there besides that acro which is kind of spooky yeah it doesn't seem like they're spawning over here again i did not mean to land all the way down here oh hello <laughs> cool what is this a little cave i think me thinks what uh oh it just basically leads out into this area hmm, weird little inlet i suppose um yeah i don't know man they're just not spawning in that area anymore i don't know if it's like supposed to be that way uh, i don't know if they're just avoiding me like everything else does you <laughs> just jump straight off that cliff i love that what level are you beautiful uh you are terrible that's what you are okay let me just keep going here i don't want to actually fight this uh, there we go good right hey nice yeah i don't know man I have not uh i've not come across any so far in this spot in a little while actually so they must have like migrated <laughs> that's the only explanation for all of this ah, all right let's see let me just keep going off into this direction i actually don't even know what's over here i guess it's like the coast of the um of the volcanic area we got we got some sulfur area here cool let me see let me keep going um let's try and land there nice okay um i think i should be able to make that jump provided i don't bounce off the tree let's see yeah this is um i don't think you take damage in the water right i don't believe that you do it might be super hot though i just saw something over there do you guys see that let me see can we get up there there's like a cave or something you can like see through the map and then you just know that there's something there <laughs> uh i don't know will i be able to make this jump i reckon it might work hey i am a professional all right what is this whoa oh that's a red drop um oh you know what jim i think sent a oh jim sent a screenshot i think of this place with coordinates i would imagine it's the same spot because i think i remember that being in it cool so there's just like a red drop here is there anything else is this it oh my god it's just like a free red drop damn okay i wonder is it always gonna be red though also what the hell did we get because i just i just i don't know i was so preoccupied we got this we got this amazing chainsaw wow okay uh but yeah we got um mastercraft harpoon launcher that's gonna be pretty cool i mean like we can replace the normal net gun that i have the harpoon launcher i just call it a net gun realistically because that's what it is but you know it's actually called the harpoon launcher um that's cool though that is a really really good blueprint what is it like 250 damage yeah it's pretty good i mean like you, you're not really gonna need that when you're using gnats but if you're actually oh my god dude what the hell what 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 is wrong with this bit of cliff i just keep liking back into it very strange um but yeah my point there is uh you know like if we're wanting to potentially use them to trank out uh water creatures because you can also do that with them then uh it could be really good for that anyway let's see more kind of like this isn't sulfur but it's actually kind of like a little waterfall area cool um i'm not seeing any of these dudes here you know honestly i'm just gonna probably cut right through this biome cut right across the area that we were just in and just check out that spot that we killed a bunch of them in again i think if i get up and around here we should be able to get to that spot got some wolves there wait is this pego oh that's amazing yes pegos can't even get to me whoa hello beautiful oh just right on its booty <laughs> it's a giraffe oh my god you know what i remember these things in atlas they have the goofiest attacks i wonder if they have it in this let's see they attack with their head does it do it please tell me it does it <laughs> i, I want to see it it like swings its head okay it's not gonna attack probably because it's low health now unfortunately the wolves hit it a little bit i think i don't believe i hit it at all <laughs> look at that thing though you gonna probably not there you go oh that's so sad oh man um anyway we should uh we should take a look for a high level to those at some point that could be cool um completely forgot that those actually would potentially be in this game 
So that's from the Animals of Atlas mod, of course. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. They, like, swing their head, though, and it's the most hilarious, like, animation, especially in Atlas, because they are super aggressive. If you hit them, they just absolutely just body you with their head. Like, <laughs> I don't want to make the joke, but you know what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it, but you know. You just know. Oh, hello. Wait, wait, wait. What gender is Cloaca? Please. Oh, damn it. They're both male. It's okay, though. That's a freaking 180. I need to get that. Okay, so I had an idea considering uh, what everybody was saying in the episode where I did get it. I might be able to grapple onto it. Potentially. We'll see. Uh, let me put that there, and then we'll put an egg on here. Okay. So, yeah, I might, I might just try and grapple onto it. We'll see. We'll see if this works. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we gotta wait for it to actually grab me. It's just gonna beat me up a little bit first. So sure. It's okay. Come on. Hey, there we go. Okay. Feed. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna move away. And I don't wanna trigger it to like have it follow me or anything here. Okay. We're just gonna chill over here. All right. We might be good to get another feed in here. Let's see. Should be able to. It's already drained down by like a bunch. I can't actually pinpoint it. Ooh, there, there it is. Yeah. Basically like 200 food drain down so might be a thing here we go come on grab me oh okay not the first time come on do it stop beating me up please just grab me come on do it ah, come on bro just grab me please <laughs> it just keeps attacking one thing i didn't bring this time was health potions so unfortunately uh we got it oh it, oh it got me nice perfect okay i'm just again gonna run away don't want to keep it triggered onto me you know what maybe even actually grappling to would be a bad idea because then it could potentially get um aggro to me yeah i'm just i'm gonna leave it how much did it go up by that time okay wait wait wait. so it went up by like 150 i think yeah so if i just let it drain down by a little bit more and wait some more time then we should be able to try and get it fully tamed up passive tames work a little bit differently but kind of going with that same logic of you know it needs to drain down its food to be hungry so yeah it goes up by like 150 per egg it seems there's actually a couple more of them around here huh that's not one but there was uh, a plus one on that one there so it probably has a friend this one here should be ready to be tamed now i think let me see we just need to get you to grab me come here bro come on you try and just grapple him then Oop, that might not work actually Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We actually got to hit it first, though. All right, well, I have him. <laughs> he just needs to get me. Come on. Let me just do this. That makes it easier, right? <laughs> did he get me? Did he Did he grab me? I don't even know if he just grabbed me there. Okay, let's just do that. Oh, crap. He's breaking some stuff. Come on, just grab me. Do it. <laughs> oh, no, I pissed him off. <laughs> I'm sorry for grappling you. Please just pick me up. Hey, there we go. Can we feed? Yes! Nice! Okay, please be good. Please be good. Uh, we got a perfect tame as well. Uh, where are you? Here you are. Uh, you are this one. 51! Oh my god, no, this one's good. Oh wow. Okay, 49 points into melee. That's really good. 51 points into stamina. That's even better. Now, comparing that to like what I had before, melee is better than uh, the... Actually, I just realized it is a flyer, so that is kind of normal for them to go up to in like close 50s. But it's still really good stats, though. I'm super happy about that. 51 points into stamina is, like, 10 better than what I had before. And then uh, the melee is, like, 7 better. The health is also actually better on this one as well. Wow, this is just a better one all around. I mean, my other one got 58 points into its uh, weight, which obviously, you know, threw all the other stats down a bunch. But, yeah, wow. We actually got an amazing uh, leather wing there. What are they called again? I keep forgetting. Uh, Ludodactylus. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to grab out my cloaca, and um, I'm, I guess I'm going to look for some more. I mean, well, there's another one right there. That might be that 108 or 2 or something. I just realized my spyglass is on, on my hotbar. Let's put you there. What level are you? 168, and it's a female. Okay, I'll get you. I will get you. Perfect. All right. Um, well, again, we all know how this goes. I'll just bring you guys back at the very end, unless something really, really bad happens which easily could happen. And parachute, very important. Come on, pick me up. Ooh, crap. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, let's go back up there. <laughs> oh, crap, there's a bug following me. Uh, wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, crap! 
Oh my god, dude. Why? Ah, my blood is everywhere. <laughs> so that's so ridiculous. Um I gotta probably kill that thing. Well, there's the saber anyway. That thing's dead. Uh we need to get all the way over to here. Is that yeah, that thyla is following me, I think. Here, let's just kill it real quick. Oh, I need to reload. Crap. Oh no, we're, we're running straight into this dude. Uh, uh, okay. Oh crap, it's right there. Um, come on. This is a high level. Oh, yeah, it's a 168. I don't feel bad about it. We're taming this thing. Also, that's a regular Thyla. I totally would team up a Paleo one if I was uh, looking for one right now, which I might soon. We'll see. All right, come on, get me. I reckon the rest of my armor is, like, on the verge of breaking. <laughs> it's it's definitely all about to just break. And then we're going to take tons of damage, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Come here to me, will you? What are you doing? This one just does not want to pull aggro right now. It was fine all the other times. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah, grab me. Oh, oh wow. Okay, you, like, bounced me towards you somehow. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, uh, crap. Sniper. I uh, can't see a thing. There we go. Kill the homotherium. Oh, crap. There's another one. I can't see. I can't see through my own blood, you know? <laughs> like, I didn't know there was another one there. That sucks. Um, crap, crap. Uh, what is this bed? Oh, this is over here. Okay, this is not too far away. Oh, that sucks. Please tell me that thing doesn't kill my guy, my girl. More like it. It's not getting damaged right now. That's good. Uh, all right. Um... Yeah, I didn't expect those guys to run in. I was so close. Like, literally about to be picked up and everything. <laughs> it's the worst. All right. Well, we're not too far away. I should be able to get over there, hopefully. Unless there's going to be something, like, right in front of me here. We should be able to do it. I did see those guys over there, but I think we should be okay. By the way, I just want to mention, we started this all the way over there. This thing is wanting to fly all over the place. It's kind of insane. Uh, are we safe? I don't see the homotherium. I think I'm just going to run in, just grab my stuff, and grapple to the cliff. There it is. I see it. It's a 174, so I, I don't... I don't know if I want to kill it. If it comes for me, I'm killing it. That's all I'm saying. He better not come for me. Oh, he's coming for me. Yeah, he is. Uh, let's grapple first. Uh, yeah, can't deal with you. Oh, ooh, oh I, I did not do that far enough. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I don't want to have to deal with trying to like lead this thing away. So we're just going to go for this. Also, we're super far away right now. Wait, do I have any armor on me? Um, gas mask? <laughs> I got gloves. That's great. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Oop. Okay, that's uh, that's not fantastic. Actually, this is this could probably be a good opportunity to show you guys something really silly. Um, you can put your glide suit onto any piece of armor, and then if you don't have a chest piece on, this is what it looks like. Very strange. Um, yeah, I don't know. That kind of looks cool. I like it, but it is very odd though. Uh, what are you chasing? You chasing a pteranodon? Is that is that what's happening here? I think it might be. Um, let me try and help you out there, bud. Uh, that's a bit risky. Mm, no, I don't know why I just randomly took that shot. No. Nah. Ooh, I got it. Okay, we're good. I thought I just heard something running at me, but it was this guy. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Ooh, all right. Come here. Let me get you. Come on. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I didn't realize how high we up, we were up there. Um, we got it. Let me go into this house real quick. Maybe there could be another drop. Uh, well, there we go. We got it. Uh, no drop. Let's see. Stats-wise... Um... Yeah, nothing's better. Uh, yeah. I mean, that that's basically it. Like, it doesn't have amazing stats, but we have the amazing stats on our two that we already have tamed. Obviously, the health is not super amazing, Actually, this one right here has the same health as well as the uh, the second mill that we got. Um, but yeah, you know what? That's okay. I'm okay with that for the moment. Maybe we can try and tame some more. I currently don't have any more eggs on me, and obviously all my armor is broken. And we have one more thing that I want to try and do here today. So I think um, I'm going to focus on trying to actually get the little Corvus dude as well. And then we can focus on trying to get some more of these, maybe at some other stage. All right, one last thing to do, and we need to find one of these little birds. So I'm just going to check around this area. I've gotten attacked by so many of them. Well, I did get attacked by so many of them when we were living in this spot. So yeah, let's take a little look down here and see if we can find some. If not, I guess we can like look around a little bit, but 
I think they kind of just spawn everywhere. It might not be a good idea, but I potentially could go and try and get this one right here. It doesn't look like it's trained down much. Whereabouts is this thing? It's all the way over there. I don't know what biome that would be and Probably in the swamp, maybe past it. I don't know. All right, it's right over there in the middle of the swamp. I'm going to kill whoever did this. Ooh. Come on, please don't be Capros. Oh God, there's a Sarko. Oh no, this is a bad idea. Why did I do this? No, let me get through. <laughs> oh my God, let me get through. All right, let's see. What do we got? Is it still here? It's totally still here, right? There it is. It's like in the cliff, I think. All right, let me put you away. So uh, we drop ingots down separately, I do believe. So let's just pull that out of there and then just like separate them out. You know what? We can probably just do split all. Okay, how's this work then? You're just, are, are you just stuck there? What's going to happen? Uh, is it bloody or is it just red? Oh, it's red. Whoa. Okay. I'm just stealing somebody's tame at this point. Oh, he just ate it. Oh, he actually did. Okay. Well, let's just keep dropping him some. Oh, okay. He didn't grab that. Okay. I would imagine it's... Okay. He's not grabbing them at all. <laughs> I would imagine it's not usually this fast, but this thing has been like waiting to be tamed for like years now. Let's just surround him by ingots. <laughs> It's so funny looking. All right. Hopefully, we're going to be safe here. Could it already be overburdened? I'm not actually sure. So, you feed it the ingots, or you drop down the ingots, get them, get it to pick them up because it can't help itself. And then, oh, it just grabbed another one. Okay, cool. And then, after that, when it's fully overburdened, it will just sit on the ground because it can't move, and then you just feed it the spoilt meat. That's how it kind of goes. Uh, it looks like it's just full-on stuck, so I think we lucked out right here. Yeah, this is perfect. By the way, I know some of these ingots are going to despawn. It's fine. I mean, it's just a little bit of metal. Is it going to grab some more? I don't even know. I mean, it's still flapping its wings, so that means it's still flying. I would imagine it's going to just sit right there. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's just going to basically sit right there as soon as we get it. Uh, It's not dropping at all, which is great. Damn, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is fantastic. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Let's see. It's red, though. I like that. It's got like red accents on the wings. It's got a little bit of blue on the head. Damn, all right. Who let you get away? That was dumb of them. <laughs> I'm not I'm not actually shitting on my friends, by the way. I'm just <laughs> like, this is beautiful though. Oh man, all right, let's get it. Come on, let me just chuck some more directly on top of you. Probably not a good idea, but I just want to get a bunch of it around it just so it always has some to grab from. But yeah, this is an interesting taming method, if I'm going to be honest. Like it's... uh. I don't know. It's 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 very unique. I've never seen something like this before. Oh, and also, let me know what should we call this little birdie? Oh, what is happening? Oh, is it grabbing more? Did it just grab two pieces? I don't think it did. But yeah, we're going to need a name for this little birdie. I don't need a name for the cat, by the way. I've already picked one. <laughs> but maybe leave some names for cats. To Actually, no. Let me know what your cat's names are. Because I got three. We got Nugget. We got Dexter. We got Benji. And uh, I, I know everybody has very cool names for their cats. So let me know what your cats are called down below. Doesn't seem to want to pick up any more. I'm not sure if we're ready to do the passive feeding now. Let me see. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. We're at this point now. Cool. Okay. I just couldn't tell. I think it's just... It's just caught in the flying animation, probably because it's above a little bit of water. It just has nowhere to land. Oh, nice. Wow, that was quick. Okay, let's pick it up. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let me check it out. Uh, oh, oh, it has a crafting skill stat. I didn't realize it would have that. So basically, it looks like it probably just full on replaces the movement speed because obviously uh, birds don't have that, but that's cool. Oh, that's a, such a cool bird. Oh, I love it damn oh my god okay hang on <laughs> i want to i want to check this thing out i think i got probably some of the best colors here look at that it's got red on it damn all right i like that a lot man that is absolutely beautiful all right can they wear hats no <laughs> it says a costume so it's probably probably hatless uh that's that's pretty unfortunate but uh yeah there we go we got it let's get back to base and um and maybe just test it out real quick without actually pumping anything into uh, crafting skill. In fact, I'm going to fly back without any pump, without pumping anything into crafting skill at all. I'm just going to maybe just craft something using, uh, the Corvus on my shoulder. We'll just see what kind of boost it actually gives me. All right. So just to test this out, let's just make some cloth hats or something. So let me craft like, let's just craft 10 actually. So here we go. Boom. And we're crafting. So it should just wait. Can I not afford 10? Are you kidding me? Uh, all right, there we go. Okay, it, it probably isn't going to be much. Let's see. 
Okay, yeah, so it's kind of giving me just a tiny, tiny little bit. Not a huge amount. It doesn't, does it actually add anything into me here? I think it might be. Um, I don't, I think that's usually at like 100, right? So if I drop it down, wait, let's just wait for all this to come through. So yeah, they're all kind of hovering just barely above like pretty much 1.5% is like kind of the average I would say out of all these. So that's cool. Let me drop you down. Does my stack go down then? Oh yeah, it does actually. Damn, okay. I didn't realize just simply having it there would change my stat. That makes it more interesting. Now I kind of want to test out one of these potions and make one of these cloth hats. Although I don't know if we can afford it. Do we not have any more fiber? Where's all of our fiber going? Yeah, we can't, <laughs> we can't afford it. What is happening? All right, there we go. We got a bunch. I'm not doing a massive fiber gathering binge right now. I already brought back like an extra 10,000 and now it's all gone. So yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good we just need to we just need to like get working on farming up that stuff um maybe get like a good moss chops or something all right so i have the corvus on my shoulder nice i have my crafting skill potion let's actually first of all drop you down get you close enough to me though let's um gamma up first of all although instead of gammaing up i just put up a, a glow stick up there um okay so let's pop this on there we go so i have max crafting skill that i can possibly have with all of my levels now we have that on top that doesn't look like it went up by a huge amount. Yeah, it went up by a tiny bit. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's not super great, actually. Huh. All right. Well, I mean, like, that's just going to be 13%. Yeah, and we don't actually have enough for another. It's fine. Um, so it doesn't really look like it actually adds a huge amount on. So I don't think that is 20%. It can't be. Because, like, that's barely anything added on. I'm trying to kind of understand this. Uh, I guess if we just keep pumping levels into the crafting skill, then we'll be okay. All right, cool. Well, anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for today, guys. We have the Corvus. I got the cats. I didn't get the leech blood. I, I got to do that at some point. I'll, I'll do that at some other point. Um, we got some more of the, the birds as well. And yeah, we got lots of stuff done. So guys, if you have enjoyed this one, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you want to see more like this. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time.